Let's look at some key principles for managing unsealed storage and minimise the times where we need to actually even control pests and fumigate. So for unsealable storage, one of the really important parts of minimising pests is that we have a high standard of hygiene. So when the storages are empty, cleaning them out well, getting all that residue out, things like around the aeration ducting, a very good trap for residues and obviously a place for insects to breed. If that storage had had an infestation in it, we would strongly advise that you use a hose, a pressure hose and wash it out, let it dry and then apply either a structural treatment or something like diatomaceous earth, for example dry side, and in this way we minimise the pest carryover between the seasons. Aeration. Hopefully all those storages have got aeration. By lowering that grain temperature, we make it much more difficult for those few insects we may have in the storage to breed and therefore may not require that fumigation treatment. And lastly, regular monthly monitoring. Very good habit to get into that at least once a month, we're taking a sample from each storage we have on the property a sample from the base, if it's safe, a sample from the top of the silo, sieve that and have we got any pests, let's identify them and then take it from there in terms of treatment. Preferably we've got a sieve with a white base that enables us to see the insects a little bit more clearly. When you've opened that base up, stand out in the sun, it really does help to both see the insects and it encourages the insects to move. Again, for some of the very small pests like Soakid, it does help us to identify them. A probe trap is something you will find very helpful as well, along with the sieve. That can remain in the silo and catch those odd insects that favour the top of the silo. And while you're taking that sample from the top for your sieve, you can inspect that probe trap and just see, do you have any pests there? And the principle here is that these probe traps are placed into the surface of the grain, so we push it into the, into the grain at the top. Can be used in a grain shed as well, of course. The insects like that surface grain and are moving through the grain and they drop through a little hole in the probe trap. You pull that trap out of the grain once a month and inspect it and are we detecting any trap pests and the early indications of a pest infestation. So with those three key components of both well-managed hygiene, plus aeration, and finally regular monitoring, we can actually nail down 70% of our insect pest control issues. So that's a really good news story in terms of even the unsealed storage. Moving on to the sealable storage that you may have on your property. One of the key aspects is maintaining the seals on those storages. A regular pressure test very quickly tells us if there's a problem with seals and just straight inspections of the seals around the aeration cover, the outlets and intake ports. Um, inspect those to see they haven't been damaged. It's quite common, as many would realise, for birds to damage the rubber seals, particularly on the tops of silos. If uh, uh, you're looking to purchase uh, more sealable storage, could I encourage you to ask the manufacturer, does his storage actually meet the Australian standard AS2628? By doing so, you know the storage is gas tight and able to hold the concentration of the gas for the length of time required for an effective fumigation.